Alright, what's going up everyone on YouTube? Uh, NES Ruler. Um, pretty bored right now, have some free time, so I thought I'd uh, head on out to some, uh, we go to a pawn shop and a, like, used bookstore that has some laser discs and stuff, so I haven't been there in a while, even though I really don't like to go there anymore because, you know, they really uh, bumped up their prices a lot, so I really don't like to check that place out that much anymore, but I'll head over there anyway, see what they have laser disc wise. I'm not going to buy any. DVDs or Blu-rays or anything. And I'm going to head to Best Buy, and if I don't find anything, I'm going to pick up uh, Clerks and Chasing Amy on um, Blu-ray. They're $7.99 a piece, so I'm really stoked to get those. So uh, I'll make a video when I get to the places and when I come out and everything. So um, I shall talk to you guys in about 15 or 20 minutes or so. So I'll talk to you guys then. Well, I thought when I'm driving, we'll... Uh keep myself busy a little bit and talk about some stuff so um thought maybe we uh talk about uh movies that have uh recently came out in theaters and how shitty they've really been lately and you know i'm an active movie goer you know i go to the movies quite a bit if there's actually good stuff to see but lately there's just been epic shit and total crap and um fuck i just hit a tree with my fucking radio antenna but uh you know, there's been just absolutely shit out, and, you know, I haven't really even seen that many good movies, and, you know, because, you know, there's been crap, you know, Harry Potter was probably, you know, one of the best movies so far of the year, and that's pretty sad, well, it was a great movie, but, you know, I really thought I would have high, uh, more high expectations with that, but, um, I recently just saw a movie, an independent flick called Terry, with, uh, John C. Riley. And I would definitely check that one out if you guys could find it in a theater, you know. It's a, it's a pretty uh, independent release type film. But, you know, I, I really enjoy John C. Riley in these little independent films. He's probably one of my favorite actors right now as, you know, fucking Squirrel. Come on, Squirrel. As a mom. <laughs> Cyrus, which uh, if any of you guys haven't seen, you can find that one on Blu-ray. Definitely check that one out. It's a really good movie. But um, it's pretty much about this um, this fat kid who is always getting picked on at school and everything. And uh, here comes a car. I don't want them to think I'm a weirdo talking to myself. But uh, it's pretty much about John C. Riley as a principal of the school talking to this fat kid about his life and always getting picked on and everything. And it's definitely a really interesting and awesome independent flick that I definitely recommend checking out when it either comes out on Blu-ray or if you find it in your theaters. I'll uh, link the movie on IMDb down below or annotation. Definitely just check that one out if you guys can find it. But besides that, the movies have been epically crap lately and there hasn't been anything worthwhile checking out and I can't even think of Best Picture nominees right now off the top of my head just sitting here you know I really have to go look back at all the movies that were released this year but you know there's not that many great movies that came out so I just thought I'd come and talk about that for a little bit uh, what do you guys think about that you know leave a comment down below and I'm curious to see what you guys think about that but um besides that I shall talk to you guys in a little while alright so we're almost at our first uh shop or used bookstore that has some laser discs I want to check out. So, uh, yeah. Just thought I'd just make it now. Ooh, that fucking truck is almost... <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, um, we'll be there in about a minute. So, um, yeah. So how everybody's, uh, summer doing? Hope everyone's having a great summer, you know. I'm, uh, getting ready to go to school soon. Um, it's my last year of high school, and I'm graduating in January, which is uh, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't have to sit there for a whole semester and I'll be done and gone. So Then I head off to film school in the fall, so I'm looking forward to that, to actually do something with film. You know, I'm always talking about movies and, you know, always doing updates, watching movies. I'm finally happy to actually uh, do something with movies, and I'm looking forward to doing that. And, uh, yeah, this guy's looking at me like I'm a fucking weirdo because I'm talking to myself with a camera. But, uh, yeah. I'm pretty happy to be actually be doing something. So, uh, I'll talk to you guys when I get out of the shop. And, once again, I hope everyone's having a great summer and I shall talk to you guys in a few minutes. 
Oh, that was a fucking ripoff. I didn't have anything. Not one laser disc. I mean, who the fuck buys laser disc besides me? But uh, that was a disappointment. You know, I'm friendly with the guy in there. Well, I used to be friendly with the guy in there. I used to go in there all the time. Just wondering where I was. I haven't been in there in a while, but you know. No luck there, so uh, let's head on down the street to the pawn shop and see what they have. Um, I'll just cut to my footage when I get out of there if I find anything, so uh, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Alright, just got a pawn shop. Uh, I should have bought some more Blu-rays when I was in there last time on my other out in the bus video, but, you know, he had about seven or eight titles in back, plus 40 or so out on the shelf that I wasn't really interested in. But I grabbed one title, and on, uh, that's the Alice in Wonderland, a three-disc set with the Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy uh, for eight bucks. Uh, I thought it was a, a, a okay score, you know. That's about how much it's going on on Amazon, but I didn't want to wait for it. And, you know, with the Blockbuster sale, you know, all that stuff, I just wanted a legit copy with the uh, slip and everything, so it's a three-disc set, you know, still has the digital copy code and everything, so three-disc set. Sorry, I'm looking over my shoulder all the time. This people are fucking staring at me. But, uh, yeah. So, that's one title. Eight bucks. It's an okay movie. I'm really excited to watch some of I have it on DVD already. So, I'll just go ahead and swap it for something else that I want. So, uh, yeah. I'm gonna head over to Best Buy and pick up Clerks and maybe Chasing Amy. We'll find out when I get there. So, uh, I'll talk to you guys when I get out of there. Really hope this angle comes out alright, but, uh... <laughs> Those people behind me looking at me. But uh, I picked up Clerks, seven ninety nine at Best Buy. Uh, one of my favorite comedy movies. Uh, really awesome. Uh, for seven ninety nine. I have it on DVD, so I'll probably just make a DVD combo pack. I know uh, Crazy Jason over at uh, Khaki Lacky Movie Madness uh, makes combo packs out of his DVDs and Blu-rays that he has. So. open. I think it's in an eco case nonetheless. Oh, why does it almost stick to the spine of the movie? It's so fucking annoying. They recently just started doing that too. I don't know why. Uh, good enough for now. Freaking A, it's it hot out. Fine, come on. Ugh, there we go. It's a single DVD. Oh, it's not one of those stupid eco cases, so you know. It's one of those stupid ones, but there's the disc and that. So that was clerks for eight bucks, so I came out with two movies for sixteen bucks. Uh, not bad, but uh thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this out and about video. Uh I wanna do some more later on. You know, I gotta wait for more stuff to come out and everything, so um, I shall talk to you guys later. Now I was just sitting here, and I thought, uh, I'll head over to Walmart and see if they have a copy of, uh, It's a Mad, 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 Mad World on Blu-ray. That's a movie I have never seen, surprisingly, and it's always been a movie I've been wanting to check out. And it's a Walmart exclusive, and it's only ten bucks, so I'll, I'll head on over there and see if they have it or not. And they probably don't, because, you know, those stupid... Walmart exclusives are kind of hard to get, but uh, I'll see if they have it in for 10 bucks, you know, I'll pick it up. So I'll come back out after I stop in Walmart and unbox it if they end up having it or not. So uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to finding a copy of it, you know, James Will Rolfe for the Angry Video Game Nerd says that's his favorite movie of all time, so um, I'm really looking forward to watching it. So uh, yeah, I shall talk to you guys when I get out of Walmart. Alright, see you later. Well, I knew I wouldn't find a copy of it. I've only been looking for it for about three weeks now. It's been about three different Wal three or four different Walmarts. I, I should have went into the one by the used bookstore. I just didn't even think about it until now. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to order it offline. I know they still have it in stock online because I just looked for it. So I guess i got to order it there. But, uh, yeah, guys, uh, thanks for uh, joining me in my uh, second out and about trip. I hope to be doing a, uh, a few more of these, you know, here and there. Every couple of weeks, you know, like the head to the pawn shop and stuff. So, uh, yeah.
Uh, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be doing a uh, giveaway when I get to 500 subscribers, so uh, look forward to that. I have some titles pulled off to the side that I know you guys are going to like. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody, and look forward to that giveaway coming up. So, thanks.